Hold on to your butts. These are the Squashbuckler Diaries. My name is Guy Hasson, and you are listening to the Squash Buckler Diaries podcast, the daily epic fantasy podcast. That's a huge experiment that's never been done before, recovering the life of Joy Shelley, the girl who was born in a dream, the girl who lives in a dream. She lives in her father's dream. She become a heroine in the dream, uh, and uh, recovering her from birth to death at great detail. So that's why I always say, hold on to your butts. You have to hold on to your butts for a really long time, because, uh, no, not because you're constipated. And um, it's a big, massive adventure that's only revealed slowly. It unfolds slowly before you in five-minute increments. But things happen. And uh, as you will see today, stuff we've talked about before now reappears. So if you've listened so far... Uh, should I not explain anything, perhaps? And, you know, if you've listened so far, you'll be rewarded. And if you haven't listened so far, you know, check out the entire thing. Uh, it's episode three of a mini saga called Missing, where uh, her father can't find her. He's not, you know, he's not always there. He's only there when he sleeps. And she can do anything she wants to when he's not there, you know. And it's his dream, so who knows what happened. So, m- a lot of details that you should know comes into uh, play now, and if I say it, it won't be as much of a... It won't be, you know, if I remind you, you know, previously on uh, the Squash Buckler Diaries, you know. <laughs> so I won't do that. So without further ado, without further explanation, if you know what I'm talking about, if you know what's happening, great. You will have great fun. And if not, check out previous uh, adventures. Let's begin. Episode 82, Missing, Part 3. Joy's age four and a half, told by the Red Dragon. Dragonfather was jumping up and down in place in frustration. He could not contain his emotion at having his daughter disappear while he was away. He had just searched for her at the bottom of the ocean, and even though she was not there, he was no doubt still living through the agony of imagining her dead. Joy! He screamed at the top of his voice, and his voice, because it was his dream, echoed throughout the earth, the sand, the moon, and the stars. Joy! His voice reached out to all corners of his dream. Then he stopped and listened. My hearing is far better than any human's, and there was not a whisper flying on the wind that he could have heard. Then a man's voice came, muffled. Pirate! Pirate! Dragonfather straightened his back, looking all around him. It took him a second to realize where the voice was coming from. Then he sprinted down the stairs and into the infinite corridor, past my ability to see him. Immediately, he said, Who called me? Who called me? He couldn't identify the one voice from the hundreds of villains that imprisoned at the belly of the ship over the years. I did, the voice said again. Dragonfather ran a hundred meters or so to the villain who spoke to him. General Hawk, do you know where Joy is? I do. There is nothing to worry, pirate. Your nestling is unharmed. Did you take her? Dragonfather bellowed at him. No, no, I would not have kidnapped children in my worst days. She wanted to explore how far this prison goes. She set off down the corridor hours ago. Hours ago? Indeed. I could hear Dragonfather's breathing slow down. That's all she did? That is all. Your nestling is quite curious. Yes, she is. Dragonfather's voice was now closer to his normal voice. Then anger came out of him. Why didn't you tell me before, General Hawk? I wanted to see how much you cared, the general said simply. Dragonfather snarled at him. I had him running again, but not back towards the deck, but rather away from it. Thanks for telling me, he yelled. He ran and ran and ran. He ran for two hours and still there was nothing, but he did not stop running. (sighs) Ah, telling you stories of fear rather than joy is taxing. 
I will tell you what he found tomorrow. Told by the Red Dragon. Hashtags Joy, Justin, General Hawk, The Infinite Prison, The Infinite Corridor. So, what happened next? Let's find out tomorrow in Missing Part 4. Uh, I can just tell you, of course, that it's not going to be, you know, oh, here you are, okay, everything's good. That's not an episode of the Squash Buckler Diaries. Something will happen. I will see you tomorrow. And if you haven't listened to previous episodes, you have 83 more episodes to catch up on. And now, the credits. The Squash Buckler Diaries are written and read by me, Guy Hassan. All the tags mentioned in this story are searchable at the website. You can find all the stories there in written form and in fact 150 Squash Buckler Diaries more. The Squash Buckler Diaries is the diary of Joy Shelley, the girl who lives in dreams. She'll be called the Forgotten Girl by her father. She'll be a true heroine. She'll change the world. This project shows her entire life from birth to death. Check out the website at guyhasson.com, that's G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N.com. I've been an author and playwright for more than 30 years, and this is the first time I've used the guyhasson.com website, because The Girl in the Dream is my life project. If you have questions, if you want to comment, please do. You can comment at the website or email me at guyhasson.com at gmail.com. That's G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N at gmail.com The theme music is called Brass Gentleman and is created by Thomas Harudek. My name is Guy Hassan and this is my life project. Come back tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow for more. <laughs> Thank you.